What is up, my people? It's ASLT here for today. I just want to talk real quick. Feel free to skip this video if you need to. But look, um, <laughs> I say that only like five people are watching my videos right now, and that's only the people who like ring the notification bell. And like, it's it's maybe like, it's like right down there. But like, dog, I I don't press people about pressing the notification bell. Because right now, I don't feel like any of my uploads are that important. Like, <laughs> it's not it's not that serious. You don't need a notification on your phone every time I post a video. It's just not, it's not that deep. But, um, look guys, so, for those of you who don't know, for the past two years and some change, my YouTube uploads have been completely inconsistent. I'll upload, like, two videos this month, four videos this month, and then dead silence for, like, seven months. And then rinse, repeat for, like, multiple, for, like, multiple years. And it, it was crazy. It was wild. And at, like, the peak of my YouTube, when I was gaining the most subscribers the fastest, was when I was recording, like, or editing and posting, like, like, maybe four videos a week. Or, like, three like three to four videos a week and though that's not though that's not like a crazy amount that's that's still like that was the that was the tip top for me you know right now as you guys know i am in a everyday challenge and this means that every single day i am uploading at least one video why are you okay Uh, all right, I'm assuming she all right then. But uh, as you know, right now I'm recording a video every single day, at least one video, and the video has to be at least one minute long. It has to be more than one minute long. And the reason that I did this challenge was because, like, with uh, right now at this moment, all the projects that I am building up to get to, I don't expect any of it to come out right now. I'm not even expecting them to take off this year, but I am right now working on two books, a script for a movie, <laughs> two web comics, and about seven to nine albums, as in like music wise. I'm doing a lot. I'm doing a lot. I'm not going to lie because I want a lot out of my creativity like I want a lot I want to create a lot and that's not even like only the things that I'm working on right now is what I just said that's not even all that I want I want so much more but the thing is I love making YouTube videos YouTube videos was the first like passion project really YouTube was like you know it was it was like my outlet because I would make a video and the video was a complete fluff piece. It had nothing to do with anything. It wasn't, like, it wasn't pertinent information to, like, life. For the most part, some of them were. But for the most part, it was, like, just an, it was just entertainment. It was just a distraction piece. A little bit of ADHD, a little haha, a little funny. And while people saw it and people laughed at it, and that got me 87 subscribers... That wasn't why I was posting it. The reason I was posting it was so that I could look at that video and I could remember the day that I posted that video and remember what I was going through at that time and remember all the things that were happening in my life at that moment. And it was cathartic for me because it was like, now I forever have that little time capsule of that moment and that period of my life where I was growing in this way. So that's like why I even started like making YouTube videos. But for the past, like, couple years, either, like, there were a couple times where I was going through some deep shit, not gonna lie, I was, I was going through some stuff, and other times I just felt as if I really didn't have the time, and I, <laughs> it got to the point where I was so upset with myself for not, not, like, having that anymore, because I would, I would be sad, and I would hit some sort of wall in my whatever I'm doing and I would want to go back and look at a video from like a week ago and realize I don't have a video a week ago I don't have a video two months ago I don't have a video for like seven months behind me so 
it was just like it was upsetting for me it was upsetting and not upsetting in the traditional sense like oh I'm mad it was just upsetting as in like disappointing it was just disappointing that I didn't have that anymore so I told myself that (laughs) when the cold weather hit in San Diego I would start again that was kind of a joke like to myself but I knew that like winter would come my nigga like it's a it's a season bro uh climate change or no climate change winter is gonna come and it's gonna rain so uh the day that the cold weather did hit I remember this day vividly or this morning rather because I wake up at 4 a.m and I leave the house around 6 like before like a little bit before 6 the moon is still up in the sky and most of the times it's dark and it's like it's the coldest at that time that's when it's had the entire night to get cold and the sun hasn't even started warming it up yet it's the coldest it can be and that morning was the first morning in a long time that I had to keep my hands in my pockets because my hands were so cold that's when I knew that's when I knew like this is the day that I'm starting again so or yeah, I was like, this is the day I'm starting again. So I know, I know about 20 of my subscribers and I say, I know them not on a personal level. Unfortunately, I would love to know all of them on a personal level, but I mean, like I have, I'm in contact with them. Like I can text them if I want to. And I did. And I texted about 20 of them and I let them know, Hey, I'm about to start posting videos again. But the thing is I'm doing something different and I would love it. I would appreciate it a lot. If you guys just just let me ride this one out alone. Just don't don't watch the couple of videos that come out for like a week. And I, I didn't mean this in a rude way. I just wanted to see how YouTube was going to treat me coming back after such a long time of being on the platform and doing nothing. Like, <laughs> I just wanted to see where I would be if no one had my back for the first week. And it was rough. It was hard. Not like uh, like my analytics. I look at my analytics because every project that I'm working on, all the media platforms that I want to go to and that I am going to and that I'm on already and all the projects that I want to start or that I have started or that have been going for a while now, I want my home base. I want my, my, uh, my foundation to be YouTube because that's where the passion started. And I want... Like, I want YouTube to be my base of operations. So I check my channel constantly, all the time, for no reason. Not even just, like, like just to check on it. Just, how are my analytics? Like, whoa, what, what's going on? Uh, I, <laughs> I'm, actually, I'm actually pretty astonished that I don't lose subscribers slowly. I lose interest with people. I lose a lot of interest with people. And people, like, stop checking up on me. But... I've only had like, like two people unsubscribe for me and one of them was an ex. So (laughs) I've only really had one subscriber that I did not know, subscribe to my channel, watch a few videos and then unsubscribe. It's only happened like once and I have 87 subscribers now. I'm proud of that. I'm happy with that. But I just wanted to see how YouTube was going to treat me. Bye. I love you. I just wanted to see how YouTube is going to treat me for like the first, you know, week, like, like a good solid time frame, to see how they're, how they would treat me if I was just gone and my analytics took a crash and they did. Obviously I got smacked, like no recommendations. I'm none of my videos were recommended to anyone, bro. And like, I'm, I'm serious, only the people who had my freaking notification bell turned on, like, would even see my stuff, or like, the very dedicated subscribers, and I thank you guys for that, I thank you guys for that, um, <laughs> I'm, I'm just coasting right now, and I'm, I'm gonna share this video with those, like, 20 subscribers, like, you guys can come back, you guys can watch now, It was never to, like, stop you from watching my videos. Anyone can watch my videos. It it was just, like, for that time being, I just wanted to see. I just wanted to see what was going to happen. What were they going to do with me? And for the most part, I think YouTube just kind of 
it didn't like dismiss me. It was just like it, it it felt like the entire platform expected me to stop posting after the first two videos. And after like the first video that I posted got maybe like two views for like 12 hours. The next video came out and then it got like some more. And then after the third video, now the first video of the everyday challenge that was posted, I think this Tuesday, that video has what I think 15 views right now. And that's completely like unique. None of those views were any of the 20 subscribers that I'm in contact with. And only about like five of them were from people who are subscribed and have the notification bell on. So this is about 10 new people that must have been recommended or found my channel out of nowhere. That tells me that YouTube is starting to like recognize, oh, he's coming back. Is he serious this time? Okay. So, <laughs> um, I just wanted to see what that was all about. I, I was, I was really curious, but, um, uh, the whole reason that I wanted to like, that I wanted to do this in the first place was I was, I wanted to prove to myself that, that I could, I wanted to prove to myself that it wouldn't take up all my time. It wouldn't rule out or overrule everything else that I'm doing right now. And that it wouldn't like crash my entire life. Yes, my nigga. Hold on. <laughs> you don't have a key, my guy. Sorry. My sister lost her key. Ugh, also, I'm on my bed, yes. Anyway, as I was saying, like, I, I just wanted to prove to myself that I had the time. And a, a little bit of me was afraid that, like, the reason that I wasn't posting videos, something I love so much with a passion, part of me was scared that the reason I wasn't was, was non-existent, that it didn't exist, that the reason I wasn't uploading was, was nothing. And that's the whole reason I definitely needed to do it. Because, like, I don't know. That That's just kind of always been my personality. Every time I realize that I'm afraid of something, now I'm, I have to do it. Because it's like, if I don't do it, then whatever that thing is, it wins. So, for this first week, I just wanted to, I, I just wanted to coast through. I just wanted to slide by. Uh, I was just greasing up my gears and getting back into it and like, like I feel, I feel different. Like I, I feel so much wildly more comfortable picking up a camera and starting to record a video or starting a video and making a video and editing a video has become so much quicker for me because I've I've got back into, it's almost a muscle memory, but the muscle is the brain. Like you get back into how a video should look and how your sound quality should be and where you should put the camera. And, you know, it, it's like production is a skill and it can get rusty. <laughs> so it, it, it feels, it feels different. It's a different feeling and I like it. And, you know, I, I haven't put a lot I haven't put a gang of effort into my videos like as of recently like of course I tried and like I I put me into it <laughs> but like not to the point where it was like strenuous or it was crazy so after this video after this upload I'm going to start like really uh really trying to go all out, and <laughs> I guess I'm going out, but, um, the reason I even, like, picked up the camera to make this video, uh, my analytics are just now starting to take, like, the hits that are pounding on my view count and my like ratio, 
those those like analytic punishments are starting to let up just now. Like, uh, I got two new subscribers, and that's why I say eighty seven subscribers instead of eighty five because I was at eighty five for like a while. Uh, by the way, I got like twenty, the, like the most, the most, like. S- I don't know how to say this. Like the video that got me the most subscribers was my first freestyle. <laughs> That's crazy to me. Cause like, uh, one, it did very well as far as views, like in that like dark space where I was getting no views and barely posting and uploading with a weird whacked out schedule and no consistency that video shined like out of nowhere, like a diamond in the rough. I, I sit at like, like a solid thousand one K views and I don't even know how many likes, maybe like, like, I don't even know. I actually have not looked at the likes. I just looked at the views and the views were crazy. It came out of nowhere. And I got like, I swear I got like 25 subscribers off of that one video. Like, it was wild. It was wild. But, um, I just got two new subscribers. One of them I know, and one of them was recommended and just, like, found my channel. Uh, and, like, by the way, shout out to Wolf X Gamer or, no, did I just say gamer? Oh, my God. Wolf X Otaku. Wolf X Otaku. That is their name. Like, Wolf no space, just X, like Wolf X, Wolf X, and then like a dash, and then like Otaku. They're 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 cool. I I like briefly looked over their channel. They seem pretty chill. I mean, like go and look them up if you want. But um, you know my, it's like the the backlash for being gone for so long is letting up a lot sooner and quicker and easier than I thought it would be, which is making me feel extremely comfortable. So as you guys know, I, I'm a YouTube comic author now. And like, while I'm doing all of these projects, that thing is immediate. Like that thing is time sensitive. (laughs) So, um, I work on the comic for, I'd say that takes up most of my creative time right now like with the projects that I'm working on I'd say that takes the most time out of my day or the most like thought the most energy the most like like the most heart is going into that right now and that's not to say that I'm the most passionate about like that's not to say that that's my favorite thing to do out of it don't get me wrong it's amazing it's awesome and I love it um it's time consuming and I don't mind. That's how I know I really love it. But YouTube is definitely like, that's where my loyalty lies. I'm not going to lie. So I'm, um, (laughs) I just drew a blank in my mind. I am doing the comic, uh, one comic is out right now, and it is called Blood Brothers. You can find it on Webtoon. And, you know, I put a lot of work into that story. And my brother's working on it, too. And, you know, it, it it's going to be great. It's going to be awesome. But it's it's a serious comic. Like, it, it takes itself very seriously. I take it very seriously. And, dude, there's a lot of themes in there that, like, just straight up aren't to mess around with and they're hard to talk about. So, uh, at the end of every, um, (laughs) at the end of every comic now, um, that I post after, after the last episode that I just posted at the end of every episode, I'm going to put the number to a crisis prevention line and, or not a crisis, like a crisis, uh, what, what is the term crisis? Crisis Assistance, Crisis Helpline. And that's not like an insult or something. That's just because talking about the things that I'm going to be touching on in that comic so openly 
is is a risky thing and it's it's not it's not something that is taken lightly and it's not something that is done too common these days because people are so afraid to trigger people and when reading something my whole goal is to make you feel something if you hate me for what i put out that's fine with me as long as you get something out of it that you that you didn't have before like if i can make you feel something if <laughs> someone that i love once said that if you can if you can create a piece of content and someone can look at it and relate to it and it makes them uncomfortable then you won like you you did it because they felt like it was real that's that's what i'm going for but um with all of that uh i'm going to make another comic to be running at the same time as it and that one's going to be a lot more free form it's going to take itself not seriously at all it's it's going to be like a nice slice of life romantic nigga i s- what Okay, word. Dude, I don't, I don't know. You don't remember Kimberly? Who's the friend? She remembers you. No, like, okay, who's the ex? I don't know what her name was. She's a white girl and her best friend is Kimberly. Nigga, white girl? I ain't date no white girl at E3. Or maybe a Mexican. And I ain't date no Mexican at E3 either. I was straight black girls, bro. I wanted chocolate at E3. <laughs> yeah, I was going deep, bro. Anyway. <laughs> I I don't know. I don't know the ex. I don't know her friend, but. All right. Tell her I said hi, too. I, guess. I, don't, I don't know, man. I, I feel kind of bad about that. I, I was not dating her friend. She she got the wrong dude, but whatever. I so much chocolate at E3, man. So much chocolate. It was it was a chocolate time, man. Anyway, wow, just got super sidetracked. Look, uh, I'm gonna have like a nice slice of life romantic comedy type, like fluff piece, not too serious, take the load off, comic relief type of uh, comic, and maybe I'll take it seriously or have it take itself seriously later. But uh, this is the first time I'm even talking about it anyway. But uh, for the time being, it's it's going to be, it, it, it's not going to be like too, too crazy. It's going to be, it's just going to be pleasant. It's just going to be pleasant. And I'm going to have that comic, whew, I'm going to have that comic running at the same time as Blood Brothers. And uh, yeah, I'm working on that now. So I, I, I made this entire video basically to say that I'm going to start trying with YouTube a lot more now because like realizing in this week that it didn't take long for YouTube to forgive me for being long that, or for being gone that long. The a lot of the reason I wasn't uploading was because I didn't forgive myself entirely. So I'm done with that. It's over now. And we're we're back. I'm working. I'm I'm <laughs> I'm on it. So expect some skits, expect some funny videos, expect some great gaming content, and expect my editing to go through the roof because I am taking my time. I will see you all <laughs> uh today actually. I'll see you all today. So I don't know, I'll see you tonight. <laughs> uh like this video if you want. If you don't, like, you don't have to subscribe, uh, cause I am posting every day now, hey, uh, share this video with Team Trees, cause they're doing some great stuff over there, uh, yeah, and I will see you all in the next video, chi